Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Hopefully everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Today we got week 12 and today's primary focus is going to be on the new and improved mountain. But first of all guys, I want to give you a quick little disclaimer. I'm actually filming this on a Thursday and I'm not going to be anywhere in the house Friday and Saturday. I'm completely busy. It's kind of one of those things that it's not upsetting um, to me, but it's obviously something that I can't control. I'd much rather be spending time on this mock for you guys, but there are also some things in life that need attention. Um, so I am filming this on a Thursday. Now that being said there's not going to be a lot of progress because if you guys remember Wednesday I actually put out my weekly mid crate segment and that was where we finished the trenches every change that you guys see in this video is actually going to be done pretty much within a day I do apologize for not having a lot done this week guys um, but you guys know that I'm always trying to get as much as I possibly can for you all in these segments um, so this is kind of like a little bit of a hiccup in the weekly segments but nonetheless we actually did get a, a good amount of stuff done so I don't want to take away from this video at all but first and foremost guys I want to let you guys know of the new rock formation now, as you guys know, in week six, I believe it was, I actually had a little bit of the rock formation done, but I actually completely scrapped it because I wanted to kind of get some new different tones. I added red, white, and light gray, regular, and inverted slopes, and obviously those came in this week. And I'm kind of fooling around with what we got right here, and I think this is looking really good. If you guys have ever played the Battlefront 2 crate map, you'll notice that within the first kind of layer, I guess you could say, of the mountain, I'm obviously thinking of like, this is a layer, this is a layer, and then up top is another layer. But within that initial layer, there's actually a lot of different coloration and a lot of different tones that actually are in the mountain. I try my best to include those red, white, light gray, and dark bluish gray uh, slopes to actually formulate this mountain. And I think it did a pretty good job. Like I said before, the, the, the second layer, like the second and third layer that are going to be above this guy, they're not going to be nearly as different color texturized. As you can see, I have some pretty defined strips. Like we have the white strip here and then the uh, regular red. And then we have some instances of light gray here. And I believe you have some up there. Um, but in the initial layer, there's going to be a lot of different coloration. That's only because that's actually what it's like in the game. There are some very clear, distinct colors in the first layer. But then as we kind of work our way up, there's going to be a lot less of a difference in color. Um, obviously, I'm not going to make the rest just completely dark bluish gray. I'm going to add those little colors in like I already have like here with the dark and the regular red with the light gray slopes. I'm also going to be adding in some white every now and then. But pretty much, it's not going to be as defined as these initial layers are. But I think that I did a pretty good job with the this guy will kind of give you some better angles to take a look at it, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. Now, the only downside is this actually uses a lot of filler bricks. It is not completely hollow in the back, so I do have to add a lot of support bricks, and obviously I'm not done adding support bricks to the actual rest of the mock, so I'm probably going to have to go out and buy some more XL Creative Boxes to get some more pieces um, to actually fill in the mountain itself, but I think this looks really, really good. I definitely plan on keeping this um, design at least to uh, emulate on that side, excuse me. I really am liking how this mountain turned out. As I said before, guys, um, this is only one day after my midweek update where I finished the trenches, so everything here took a day, and I know that kind of sounds like a lot for such a little amount, but I wanted to really play around with it. I wanted to really get a really good idea of what I wanted in the actual mock. You guys know I'm going for 100% accuracy to the Battlefront 2 game to kind of separate myself from the other crate mocks out there. And I did look at some images from Crate. I did spend a considerable amount of time looking at my reference material, trying to get these colors down. I think I did a phenomenal job with that. Guys, let me know down below what you're thinking of this mountain. In the coming weeks, guys, I hope to obviously expand it. I'm probably going to do this side on that again, just so I can kind of give you like a giant big picture, kind of like a solid picture for you guys to kind of grasp um, as to what the mountain's going to look like. Um, I do have enough pieces to probably get up to about here on both sides so that's good news obviously like i said before i do have to go out and get those creative boxes but yeah this is pretty much the main focus of this week i know it's not a lot like i said before i didn't have too many um days or too much time to actually work on this but in terms of the support columns on the side i know that's something you guys are probably wondering about we're actually going to be covering this part up with more rocks so kind of just imagine this little chunk of mountain kind of copied and pasted right around here um to try to cover that so you're not going to be able to see this column as well as this one on the side however for the middle one, I am planning on replacing that with some transclear bricks and actually adding in a mock explosion to kind of cover up a little bit. What I've realized is with the way that my base works, I need a support column in the middle. I'm going to be able to go to I'm going to be able to go to sleep at night knowing that this thing won't fall over and that's obviously going to put my mind at ease. Um so that's kind of the plan for that and that's not going to be on the my priority list. But right now, guys, the mountain is the primary reason why I'm bringing you this video today. I was actually contemplating whether or not I should bring you a video today just because I really didn't get that much done um, for this week. 
But I figured I think this was enough progress to give you guys a little bit of an idea as to what this is looking at. And like always, guys, let me know down below what you think I can add, what you think I should take away. Just a brief overview, guys, for those of you who do not see my midweek update, we did finish the trenches. We added some different back walls, some more rocky textures, and this looks amazing. If you guys want to see a better in-depth look at this brand new trench, guys, definitely go check out the midweek update. It will be in the outro of this video. But yeah, guys, this is definitely going to be one of the more shorter updates. Like I said before, I do apologize for not having a lot done this week, but I feel like this is still enough progress to bring you guys an update video. I always like letting you guys know what's going on. In terms of future updates, guys, I have the parts coming in for the crate turrets, which should be coming in probably within the next one to two weeks. It is four separate packages. One is from Germany, so it's going to take a little bit. I also do have, like I said before, the salt pieces coming in from Lego Pick and Brick Online. However, I have no idea when that's going to come in. It does take a little bit of time for it to reach me. Also, one last thing before we close out this video, I am starting to work on the actual skimmer. Um, now, this looks really really bad right now but really what I'm waiting for is the salt pieces because once I get the salt I can kind of get a layer around it if that makes sense and then I'm going to drizzle some one by one um, red and dark red plates around it to make it look like it's really crashed and they're going to have like a little bit of a trail right here and then a little bit of an imprint in the ground like a, tr like a crash and then obviously it's going to skim up to right here um, so this is all in the works I don't want to show you guys this yet because it's not finished I know it looks pretty terrible this is why I really didn't want to show it on this video but like I said before I like keeping you guys up to date with everything but guys the main idea of today's video was this mountain right here I think it looks really good if you guys can kind of imagine it kind of rising up going over the mountain right there and then obviously back down right this way. I think it's going to look amazing, guys. Thank you so much for all for watching. I hope you all had an incredible day. Definitely smash the thumbs up button for me. Definitely subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all had a great time, and I'll see you all later. Peace.